Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome to another episode of Nin. Wait, what? This is not Ninja Voltage. Let me start again. Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome to my first ever anime movie review. Let me start by saying this: that the movie Weathering with You or Tenki no Ko. is a very different type of movie that is awesome at every level i mean each character has their own significant screen time there is romance comedy drama mystery fantasy and much more so i went with some friends but they watched some other movie i watched wedding with you and i was surprised to see almost house full theater there were people of all age groups uh, people of my age people younger than me and also people of our parents at age and they were all so interested during the movie i mean the there was hooting and there was noises and the happy noises the emotional crying and all the shouting and stuff it's just not the movie i watched but the feelings and emotions of all the other people watching it i mean although they were strangers but we all watched it together and enjoyed it so much and there was also a uh, welcome note for uh, us indians specifically which said that Thanks to all the otaku's in India who made this movie possible to be released. So thanks to all of you guys who supported the movie and also thanks to me because I did too. One more thing guys, uh, actually I was in conflict whether to make this video in Hindi or English. But some members of my Discord server told me to make it in English because yaar Hindi mein banaunga na to bas India aur baki sab aas paas ki countries ke log hi dekhenge. So main chahta hu ki anime aur anime se related content uh, India mein logo ko aware तो हो बट बाकी कंट्रीज़ में भी जहाँ मतलब इतना नहीं है वहाँ पे भी हो तो क्या पता आप लोग अगर ऐसे सपोर्ट करते रहोगे तो क्या पता एक मैं हिंदी चैनल भी खोल लूँ बट फिलहाल के लिए इंग्लिश इट इज सो विदाउट फर्दर अड यू लेट्स जंप इन टू द स्पॉलर फी रिव्यू सो द टाइटल इज़ वैदरिंग विथ यू ऑल्सो नोन एज टेंकी नो को एंड टू फिल्म फैंटसी स्लैश रोमांस ऑल दो देर इज मिक्स ऑफ ऑल द जॉनर्स इन द मूवी and the run time is 1 hour 52 minutes imdb as of now is 7.8 out of 10 and rotten tomatoes it is 100% so the description says a boy runs away to tokyo and befriends a girl who appears to be able to manipulate the weather okay so the director slash writer is makoto shinkai if you guys don't already know makoto shinkai he is one of the most popular writer slash director in the anime world he also made the kimi no nawa your name Uh, the highest grossing anime film of all time at the time of release some other good movies like 5 cm per second the garden of words and many more were also written or directed by makoto shinkai the synopsis makes the movie sound like that there is a girl with powers and she controls the weather and that's it but let me tell you it's just not that this movie has a lot more to say the character design is exceptionally i mean it's very cute and it is expected from makoto shinkai coming on to the story the main characters are hodaka and hina uh, who were living their not so normal lives but they met and things start to happen uh, hodaka is originally not from tokyo he lives on some island and ran away from his home for certain reasons as for hina she lives uh, she is shown to be living with her little brother in tokyo from the very start of the movie There are other characters like Hina's little brother who is portrayed as a ladies man and these two also played a major role in supporting the main characters also there is this Nekocha that means a kitten who is used very hilariously in this movie uh, one thing i like the most about anime movies and anime is that you really get attached to the characters i remember there was a time during the movie when everyone just uh, leaned forward i mean into the screen uh so that they can just grasp the movie and see the climax happening uh i have not i have tried not to give any spoilers in the story uh summary uh if i get into the story much uh then i am afraid you will have to listen some spoilers so that's it for the story now coming on to the animation the animation is really good same as kimi no nawa and other movies of makoto shinkai uh the animation of rain and the weather almost looks real Uh, there was actually a reference of Kimi no Nawa in this movie, so I would suggest to watch Kimi no Nawa first if you really want to understand it. Uh, the type of animation used by Makoto Shinkai in his movies is very good-looking, 
visually as well as it kind of you know uh, talks to you i don't know how to describe it any other way but the animation overall uh, is uh, awesome flawless and it is to be expected coming on to the details i really love the details in the whole movie i mean there were a lot of modern world details covered in the movie like use of smartphones to uh, people were using smartphones to search for stuff and uh, using google maps and showing it on the screen and find the locations and bunch of other stuff uh, which is a good thing because these small details is what makes a movie great i mean these small details shows us that the movie is although a animated movie but it is still uh, realistic i mean the things you see is still realistic coming on to the music the music in the entire film was actually good uh, i actually sazan one of the songs during the movie there were one or two songs that i really liked uh, but if you compare uh, the songs to other movies of the shinkai uh, the music in this one is not comparable i mean the music in kimino nawa was good i actually get emotional every time i listen to it but i doubt it will happen in this movie songs they are good music but i think uh, they d- did not really connect to the scenes uh, i might be wrong it's my just my opinion and the music uh, by uh, red wimps and and they also made the popular song used in kimino nawa so they are good so the music in this one uh, this movie is also good so overall i would say the music is good but you won't notice the songs that much as because you will be too busy watching the movie plot progressing forward instead of focusing on the songs now probably the most important question did i cry or will you cry uh, i will say that it depends as for me i got emotional during the movie but i did not cry in this movie but some of the people sitting near me did cry so it's just uh, depends on people to people i cried in kimino nawa garden of words 5 cm per second basically all the other shinkai's movie i have watched but not this one i'm not saying this movie is not emotional but as compared to the other movies this movie did not portray the emotions of characters as good as kimino nawa and other movies i mean this is uh, Uh, there was just a really less emotion time for the characters to show as there was a lot of stuff going on during the movie besides emotion i mean you have to look at all the other stuff that's going on in the movie so i would say it was kind of a suspenseful slash emotions during the entire film but again this depends on your emotional mindset so for me i did not cry and maybe you will cry or you will not now coming on to the conclusion So this is basically just a romance growing slowly during the whole movie with comedy, mystery, fantasy and other stuff in between. So Wedding with You is a movie you can surely watch with your friends, family because almost everyone can relate to the plot. It is not at all difficult for people to understand it, but this was not the case in Kimino Nawa. Many people had to search the end plot in that one. For this movie you can easily understand it without any doubts. and yes there are no scenes after the after the credits it i remain till the very last so when they start showing the credits go to the top you can leave or stay it's up to you so there are no end credit scenes uh, i really enjoyed my first ever anime film in the theater i have watched many streams in some places but not in theater uh, i would love to watch more anime movies in theaters so for this to happen if you can afford uh, to watch anime movie this anime movie in theater please do because if they receive a good response from us there will surely be lot of more movies released in india as well as other countries so this movie is really good and it's a must watch from my side so guys that was it i hope i haven't given you any spoilers and if i did i am sorry for that and i have tried not to give any spoilers so and if you want more anime related content from my side Make sure to comment and let me know what should be my next anime related video on this channel. Do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Sayonara.